All right, hey everybody, we are here at WWL. We are bringing you live Tropical Storm Barry coverage. This is Meg Ferris. She is getting ready to head out the door. Meg, where are you going today? Today my assignment is Lafitte, Louisiana, so we're going south. And I covered with photographer Steve Wolf from Hurricane Nate. That was a couple years ago down in Lafitte and really got to know the people down there. First of all, they are so industrious. They grew up and they live on the water. People always use the phrase, batten down the hatches, which people really aren't doing that. But in Lafitte, they really have to go to their boats, how they make their livelihood, a lot of them, or their recreation boats, and they have to batten down the hatches, literally, so they don't lose their, their investment um, for their business or their, their pleasure, their boats. So um, we go down there and cover that. and. Thankfully, Nate kind of fizzled out and flooded a couple of places on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. So um, really got to know the area and the people down in Lafitte. And um, they did what they needed to do. And then they played in the water, as they usually do. And I'm hoping, really hoping this time, um, nobody has the terrible flooding and um, home problems and that type of thing because it, it really is sad. It's, it's difficult. But we're down there today just to see if there are any preps going on and we hope the preps uh, will be done and really not needed. This is something that you know I'm sure many people there are used to. You did cover Tropical Storm Nate uh, mm -hmm. last time down there. What was kind of the mood like then? Well thank goodness the mood was get your work done, meaning secure your, your boats. Um, and then when they kind of saw it was taking a turn, we still stayed down there with the people, but they were treating it as a day off. Um, some of the standing water, um, one family actually pulled some of their pool toys um, and, and put them on the back of their car and pulled them through and did some little street surfing. But that's best case scenario. And so we're hoping again, it's, it's just like that. They get the work done to secure, to be safe just in case, and then it doesn't go their way and it's a, a day off where they kind of enjoy their family and friends. But, um, but they still have to do the work in prep because if the storm goes that way and causes a lot of water, it's too late to do it once it hits. So again, just tell us you are headed down there. I stopped you right before you headed out the door today. Where are you going to go? What are you looking forward to seeing, speaking with? What are kind of your plans for today? Well, what we do is we're going to go to where uh, the boats are all docked. And sure enough, we usually find people who have gone there and they're in and on their boats and they're securing lines and, and um, locking hatches and all those type of things. Anything that can flap. If they have sails, they're taking that down. So we'll start on the water in Lafitte and then we'll drive around the town and look for people. Um, what we usually do is we stop whenever we see people out. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you doing it? What are you concerned about? What happened to you in the past? Have you ever lost your home? So um, we just stop people. Sometimes we go knocking on doors and saying what's going on and, and everyone has a story. Everyone has a story from the past because living here in Southeast Louisiana, you've been through this many times before. And they like to tell us their stories and we love to talk to them. And um, we even last time, the joke is, we even found some uh, family goats. People had some goats in their land and we kind of played with the goats and pretended like we were interviewing them. But again, that was in a situation where we knew the storm had turned and these people weren't in danger. But we're going to go get the serious preps going on um, and we'll bring it to everyone tonight at 4, 5, 6 and I'm sure we'll have some clips on at 10 as well. That's right, you're going to be doing reports for us all day long. Everyone else can all get their information online at WWLTV.com. Mm -hmm. I know there is a mandatory evacuation for lower parts of Lafitte. Um, again, all of that information on our website, WWLTV. Yes, and that's very important to know that there are evacuation for the lower lying areas and most people who grew up down there, they know the ones who are prone to it. But yes, we will be reporting from the officials. Last time we did stop in with the mayor and officials to get the official word to spread to people who may not have gotten it on their phones. We'll do that too. Perfect. We are going to be doing live reports all day long, guys, so stay with Facebook online and um, on our newscasts as well. So we got you covered, so stay tuned.